Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do my first impressions on the Chavez 229 Redencion, uh, I think it's Redencion, Tanto that has been modded by Fanatic Edge. So, you guys know I've had this knife before. I've had two of these before, and I've reviewed it. It was a while ago. Um, and you know what? I got this new version of it. And I'm really excited, so I want to just kind of redo the process. I did an unboxing, um, and I'll probably just do the normal first impressions and then finish it off with a full review in a couple of weeks or so. We'll see. Or I may just leave it at this, because um, you guys have seen this knife before. So the one I had originally was uh, G10, actually. I think it was just like this. It had the satin. It had G10, black G10. I think maybe it had a, I'm pretty sure, actually, it had a satin side or a plain tie side on this side uh, and a plain tie clip. Uh, so it's a little different, but this is very similar. And then I had the uh, blackout edition which is titanium and all black titanium, uh, no G10, obviously, same Tanto with the belt satin. Oh, no, no, no. The uh, Blackout had a, a you know DLC-coated blade, um, so everything was blacked out on that, uh, including the hardware. It was pretty cool. Now, the reason why I sold those was I had the G10 one, and then I really just liked the Blackout one, so I got that. And then I felt like, well, I don't need two. So I sold the one that seemed to make the most sense to sell. Like it seemed like the blackout was cooler and would be the one that I would want to have in my collection, right? So I sold the G10 one uh, to a buddy. I can't remember who it was. I feel like it was the Knife Whisperer, Joe, but I can't be sure. Um, and then I kind of missed it, to be honest, because... The full titanium ones, the blackout one, you know, any of the full titanium ones, they just add a lot of weight. And I like to have a relatively lightweight knife on me. Now, it doesn't need to be like some ultra light bug out, but like this is probably, I mean, I, I suck at the weight thing. I mean, four and a half ounces, I don't know, four ounces, something like that. It's not super heavy, it's not lightweight either. But the full tie one was probably like five or six ounces. Like it was really chunky, really. It was heavy. Um, and I actually missed the G10 one. So I ended up selling the blackout one because I wasn't carrying it for a couple of reasons. One, the, the weight. Two, it was like this blackout. I didn't want to mess it up or anything um because it's all coated right so i was kind of babying it it was just sitting in the case and i take it out to show off or whatever and i don't like that you know i like to use my knives carry my knives um so anyway i ended up selling that and ever since i really have regretted um not having a chavez in the collection which seems silly because they are kind of big thick bruisers and it, they don't really scream me you know um, but I just love the design. I love this clip so much. Um, and I love the overall design. I love the action, the way it thunders out of there. Uh, of course, this is Riot made, the way it drops shut, the way on the newer ones, you can Spidey flick them. Um, and then of course, I love that badass Tanto. Uh, I am an absolute Tanto whore. And, um, this is just one of the best out there with the compound grind. You got a hollow back here and the flat up here. Um, you guys probably know all this already. So, but if anybody hasn't seen my videos on it, um, you know, that's kind of an idea of the knife. Obviously it's titanium G10, titanium hardware and backspacer. I'm not sure what is on, what the uh, thumb studs are made out of. And then you have M390, of course. Uh, and it is this beautiful belt satin from Riot, um, and you are on ball bearing. So, okay, then fast forward to Blade Show, right? So I haven't had a Chavez for six months, probably, um, eh, maybe four or five months. Time is weird in the knife community. Um, but I go to Blade Show, and we go up to the Fanatic Edge booth, and holy shit, guys, he had a slew of... Chavez, just imagine this, 
and then like 20 more of them just all around it in different colors like purple instead of blue um different holes instead of frag pattern titanium um red orange like just all the colors you could think of all the kind of designs you could think of and uh, tanto drop point right so he had a bunch of chavez then he had um uh he had a couple of what's the guy's name i can't think of primordial is the the mk2 mk3 i can't think of his name right now he had some of those uh, he had the guy, he has an integral too. I think the Zerks, um, he had those there. He had a slew of iron pups, Berg blade, iron pup. It was incredible how many iron pups they have. And if you go check their website linked below, you'll see, they still have a ton of iron pups. And if I liked that knife, I would have one because fanatic edge does some amazing work. So anyway, we're there and we're flipping the knives and, ah, uh, man, I had just bought the day before I bought the Sumo, I had bought um, the 8020.5, I had bought um, another crawler. I just had spent a lot of money. I had just picked up this TRM um, Neutron, which is fantastic, by the way. Um, and I just was kind of spent, right? And these are $500. They're not cheap. Um, so I just I couldn't do it, and I wanted one so bad. Um, so then later, you know, we got home, whatever, it was a week or so later, um, and I had some money come in through PayPal or whatever from selling, um, my Slim Mini, well, I traded my Slim Mini and then I, uh, sold the stuff I traded. Anyway, I had some funds and I reached out to, uh, Fanatic Edge. I'm sorry, I can't remember the guy's name and, I, um, hopefully I'll remember by the, um, full review but he's an awesome dude we chatted at blade show we've chatted on instagram now a bit and i just said hey man i checked your site i didn't see any of the really cool chavez 229 tantos in g10 and i was wondering if you had any and if you check their site they have a ton of modded stuff there are chavez's up the iron pups um and I guess he had some stock from Blade Show that just hadn't sold, right? Because they brought however many knives, and then um, obviously they're trying to sell them throughout the weekend. Maybe on the third day, they might give you a little better deal to get them so they don't have to bring them back home. Um, but for some reason, uh, there was some that didn't sell. So he sends me a video, and one of them is this one with this frag pattern G10 and this like aqua blue um, Cerakote, I think it is, all, all over the hardware. And another one with like a silver sort of Cerakote, so kind of gray, right? Uh, and then that one had, I think, speed holes in the G10. Both had the Tanto, and of course I was like, I had a frag pattern with blue. Of course, it's me, right? Um, it makes sense. Like, my color is blue. So, anyway, um, and I just like this one better. So, I was like, how much? 500 bucks or 499 I was like, all right. He said he'd throw in a t-shirt and stuff, and uh, I mentioned that in the unboxing. <laughs> I was kind of joking when I said, no shirt, wah, right? That was a joke. Um, I cared about the knife. And anyway, so I reached out to him, and he's like, yeah, I realized I didn't send it, and I, he sent a separate package with a shirt and something else, I think he said. Um, so I'll show you guys that when I do the full review. But um, anyway, so I bought it, and I'm just so happy. Like, look at this thing. Um, like if I was you, I'd be jealous of me right now. <laughs> eh, it's such a dick thing to say, but I freaking love this guy's work. I mean, it is totally worth the extra money. Like you're talking, um, you know, this night is what? 320 new, um, 350 max for G10, I would think. Um, you know, so you have an extra 150 bucks into it, but you know, he had to do all this. It takes time. It takes effort. It, you know, you got to do Cerakote. You got to take it apart. You got to put it back together. There's uh, labor involved. Like, so I get it. I don't think that price is is too much. A lot of people are going to say that. They're going to be like, oh, $500 for a Chavez. But, um, you know, I think I paid 500 for the blackout I had um, for that special edition one. Uh, this thing's way nicer than that. I mean, look at that frag pattern. Look at the little design in there. I don't even know what it is, but it's fantastic. Um, 
it it's just amazing it feels good yes it's it's standard chavez kind of sharp corners uh and ridiculous clip but that clip is what that clip and that blade is what makes this knife for me in general and then add the frag pattern and the color and it just is a home run i'm so stoked to have it i apologize for rambling um but yeah detent on this guy is absolutely spot on i mean yes i can fail it if i try oh there i mean but come on you know you give it any flick it comes out you can reverse flick it uh, my middle finger's healing up a little bit it just feels good in the hand it's just one of those knives that has, just like fits my hand absolutely perfectly and i get a good grip i actually really like this jimping even though it's ridiculous and some people hate it i really like it um gives me good traction but it's not too you know strong or anything it's fine i love the blades on these they cut really well i actually uh have been using this so i opened a couple packages uh, over the last couple of days and I also cut through some tubing. So I have this uh, plastic hose that we bought to put on my daughter's air conditioner in her room. She has a little portable air conditioner, which by the way, guys, I might do a review on that thing. Don't buy one of those because it's not just plug it in and put a hose out the window. You have to run a water like hose somewhere. Uh, you have to drain it and it's humid as hell here. So I have it running to a bucket, like a huge ass bucket. I mean, this thing, okay, it's not huge, but it's gotta be like five gallons or six gallons. And that thing is filled to the brim every morning. It's 12 hours that thing's on. And, um, so I have the bucket in another big tub, like, so it overflows, like it's crazy. Um, so I don't know what to do. I'm, you know, and then you have this giant hose that's coming out of it, going up into your window. Like it looks worse than a window air conditioner, honestly. I don't even know why I did it. I, Cause they're, that window is old and wood and I just thought it would be an issue, but I regret it. Um, so I might have my contractor come out and run and create like a drain in the wall that I could plug <laughs> into that'll run out. Or I might just get another air conditioner because that drink could cost me more than a, a window air conditioner. So we'll see. Um, anyway, I had to cut that hose down to get it to fit in the bucket right or whatever. And this thing was fantastic. It just... Um, so anyway, absolutely love it. Fanatic Edge work right here is just gorgeous. Um that's really it guys uh sorry for the rambles and everything there um but you guys have seen this knife before so to me it's more about showing you the beauty of what they did um uh, and rambling on about the story of it so um uh, yeah that is the chavez 229 redencion or is it ultramar i forget uh tanto fanatic edge edition with frag pattern and blue Cerakote. I'm gonna keep saying Cerakote until somebody proves me wrong. <laughs> I'm sure it's something else. Um, but look at that color, it's just absolutely stunning. Uh, I could not be happier with this purchase, guys. Um, I've basically been carrying this since I got it. Now, I mean, it's been a few days, but you know me. Um, I go through knives pretty quick. Uh, I don't foresee this going anywhere soon, so. Um, it almost makes me want to get another one in a different color. Like these are so cool. Um, so yeah, there you go, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, I love you all. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will catch you later.